Psychopathy spectrum test. Nobody needs to see that. I scored very low. Nuke social media, honestly, based. It's just Luigi clapping over and over. I never realized that. Alrighty. So we act, Mrs. Shawamhan. Sorry, I gotta, I've gotta be at my bestest. Whispering to yourself, not crazy. I'm a woman. I am crazy. All right, three, two, one, boom. Ah, women. Despite popular belief on Reddit, I love women. And despite oh. popular belief on 4chan, I am a woman. And as oh, I am filming this, same. it is currently International Women's Day. So happy International Women's Yay! Day to all 7.3. Wow, that is really high. Wait, 7.3? Do you guys want to know what my YouTube... Uh female demographic is that's a lot by the way 7.3 is a lot two percent it's like 1.8 <laughs> it's like 1.8 it's barely two <laughs> it's hers is like way higher i'm actually surprised that's impressive like actually imp impressive that she has an audience that's above five percent three of you We've talked quite a bit about male loneliness on this channel, but we haven't really touched on female loneliness, which oh although boy. technically not as severe yet, is unfortunately a real and rapidly growing trend. The modern world does not seem to have a solution to this. All modern dating advice is just garbage. The future seems bleak, so maybe we Tell have to me. look in the past. Damn. Men out here supporting women more than women. You're welcome, bitch. <laughs> Women tear each other down a lot. Ask me how I know. It's, it's true. I think it's a... I don't know what it is, but it's true. Women women and jealousy does not... It does not... Like, it, it doesn't... I'm having a brain fart. Sorry, I'm just looking into Shu's beautiful eyes. Um... <laughs> Now, I'm trying to say, I think it's like a biological mechanism to like tear other women down. In this video, we're going to talk a bit about modern female loneliness. And then we're going to have some fun looking at some dating advice from the 1950s uh, to see if we can cool. find a solution there. Because what worked for our grandmothers surely will work for us, right? Yeah, cook him a meat steak and it's gonna make him happy, chat. Isn't that right? If a woman cooks you a steak, it's probably a good idea to, like, pork her later. Like, actually. Like, like, if a woman cooks you a steak, that's automatically a win in my book. Right? Back in the day when people would still go to malt shops and diners instead of... <laughs> Femboy hooters. <gasps> Women dated men for more than yeah, just their shit. wallets. Which reminds me, before we get into this video, let's quickly get into today's sponsor, Ridge Wallet. <laughs> Ridge Wallets are high quality, minimalist wallets that can hold up to 12 Ooh. cards and wow. all that cash you don't have. They're also made with RFID <laughs> blocking technology, which can help protect you from digital pickpockets. Ridge's store features over 30 unique colors and styles, True. including carbon fiber, matte olive and burnt titanium the durable burnt materials titanium. mean that each wallet comes with a lifetime not anymore anyway kecking <laughs> shut your mouth i'm warranty my personal favorites are from their new women's expansion which features daisy dream and power power they are literally so cute i am obsessed with them i love how unique they all are and i am constantly <laughs> getting compliments on them and they're also Ooh, available in compliments. combination I like with a those. slim key case that can carry up to six keys i've been using the daisy dream wallet for over wow. three months now and i really cute. love the colorful pattern and the sleek design but don't just take my word for it ridge has over 80,000 five star reviews and they're so wow. confident that you'll love their products that they'll let you test them out for 365 days and if you don't like them for any Wait. reason and what, you can test them for a year? You can return them and get a full refund. That They're also having their 11-year like anniversary sale right now, so head on over to <laughs> ridge.com slash them out of a wallet. to save up to 30% on your purchase. Big thank you to Ridge for sponsoring this channel. Ridge and thank this. you, the viewer, for not skipping the ad. 
The number of single women in the U.S. is expected to increase 1.2% every year from 2008 to 2030 compared to a 0.8 percent increase in the overall population this i absolutely believe this in the u.s yes absolutely i absolutely believe this <laughs> i worked in an office and there were so many single girls like granted there was a bit of it changed over time like getting married later is a thing but there was a lot of single women at the office. It's kind of scary. This will result in 45% of women between the ages of 25 and 44 who will be single and childless by 2030. Now, according to some people, this is apparently a good thing. More women being single and childless is a good thing. Society is progressing. Women no longer have to be chained up and turned into breeding cows. I don't want to be a breeding cow. I don't want to be a breeding cow. Oh my god. Moo. Oh my god. Oh lord. Yeah, I mean, it was really like that. Your grandma popping out eight kids was normal, though. I don't know about now. I think if you pop out six kids, it's kind of abnormal, wouldn't you think? 1984. Apparently, single women spend more than the average family on travel, shopping, makeup, skincare, etc. So, of course, some economists will twist this into a positive thing. But I'm not an economist. I'm your average, humble, working class American YouTuber Woman. slaving over a hot laptop, producing absolutely nothing of value to society. And I. Hey, I think you're valuable. Oh, why? Bitch. I don't think this is a good thing. I think this is proof things are going very wrong. And if you look at the stats about how so many women are on antidepressants and how the female suicide rate has been increasing, there may oh be a connection God. here. Friendship, family, and sexual intimacy are a big part of the hierarchy of needs. And I don't- Hold on, let me watch. Self-actualization is at the top. Food, water, warmth, and rest? Yeah. Security, safety- Psychological needs, yeah. Intimate relationships, I don't need those. Hell no. Friends, hell no. <laughs> Maybe that's why VTubers are so popular, bro. Feminism has won! <laughs> okay, schizo. Hey! You can't say that! Soon male and female game ending rates will meet. Ah! I think males are probably going to still be higher than women. I'm pretty sure that's like the natural order of things. It has not ever been eclipsed. You can always find a way to like pop out a baby as a girl. A man finding a woman, I feel like that's a little bit more difficult in my opinion. But I am a woman, what do I know? Family and sexual intimacy are a big part of the hierarchy of needs. And mm -hmm. I don't think women are happier being alone and single. I just think women might be better at coping with being alone yes! and single. Yes! At least for a little while. I just had like the craziest, saddest thought. Um, I'm in the stage of life where I'm watching all my friends get married and Aww. have babies. When you talk about the subject, Aww. a lot of men will point out that these women Aww. could easily get any man to sleep with. And I'm sure they know that. But that, finding someone to sleep with is not hard. Finding someone you want to spend the rest of your life with is hard. <laughs> Wait, did I say that right? Wait, yeah, I think I did. No, I'm serious. It is easy for to find for women to find someone to pork. Yeah, it's it's finding someone you want to stay with. That's the hard part. <laughs> Maybe true. No, it's absolutely true. Like I I can attest to this. She's absolutely right. Sex isn't the only thing people are looking for, as I said in the male loneliness video. It would be relatively mm. easy for a lot of these incels to just get laid, hire a hooker, and it would take the average woman like five minutes to find a man <laughs> to sleep with. Just walk through outside. But casual sex. Talk to chat. That's what I'd have to do. Yeah, talk to chat for two seconds. It'd be like, yes, 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 I want this. <laughs> With women, I want a pork. 
But all they want is beef with me smosh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a terrible pun, by the way. Sex isn't the solution to loneliness. It's a band-aid. It's a way to fill your void with cum. Trying to find someone That was lewd. What the hell? Someone to love, to Little marry, sad. to have a family with cum. nowadays. It is incredibly difficult for both genders in this climate today. And it mm -hmm. seems like nowadays the only acceptable way to do so is to swipe right. We live in an increasingly atomized, lonely society thanks to a nasty combination of social media, technology, hookup culture, lack of community, lack of friends, lack of- Oh my god, the hookup culture is horrendous. I'll tell you, like, I, 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 I think I have said this during a shoe react before, but- I'm sorry, Alana, but I believe we should be just friends. That's okay, I'll find someone in chat who will, who will, who will tend to the needs. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, fuck. Um, oh, hookup culture, yes, yes. Um, I installed Tinder while I was in my first year of university, and in the first three lines after, like, we, you know, mashed or whatever, the guy started asking about my bra size. I was like, what the hell? Like, out of nowhere? And I was like, dude, are you being serious? And he's like, yeah, I just want, I need to know this so that, like, we can meet in real life and I don't waste my time. I just immediately blocked him and I never installed an app like that ever again in my life. And then that becomes the expectation. Yes! Yes! Because that's like, it feeds into it. Hmm. Lack of friends? I'm okay with not having too many IRL friends, but maybe I'm weird. I, I, fun fact, I went to a psychiatrist like five years ago and she asked me why I had so little friends and I said, is that a problem? She's like, well, kind of. And I'm like, ah, she's, she's, I was like, yeah, I have two friends. And she's like, you mean you only have two friends in real life? I was like, yeah. She's like, um, okay. And then she started writing. This isn't a Zoom call. This is like five years ago. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. No, she was trying to assess like why I choose chose to have so little friends, but like I don't know. I just said like I, I don't I, I don't really make a lot of good friends in real life at least. You have two more friends than me? I don't know, man. She was a really nice lady, but anyway, lack of friends does hurt sometimes. Depends what type of people you consider friends. Some people only consider very close to them friends. Yeah, that's what I clarified to her. She's like, oh, okay. I mean, that's that's good. But I'm saying, like, I'll probably get more. And I'm like, nah. I'm good. Purpose, lack of money, late stage capitalism, neoliberalism, yeah. and so many other things. And men are being told to, well, nothing. You're Off on themselves. your own. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. bootstraps. It's your fault. <laughs> You built the world, after all, and are increasingly turning to the few people who at least pretend to give a shit, who just wind up selling them poison that ultimately hurts them in the end. Or corn. Or corn. Yeah. They- Exploiting a woman for being lonely is a lot more difficult than exploiting a man. There are a lot of lewd, uh, VTubers and lewd women on Twitch. But there's only a couple of lewd men on Twitch. It's harder to sell. It's harder to sell that kind of stuff. And like hollow materialism, eternal one night stands, and <laughs> vasectomies. Yeah. In what? Holy hell. In case you were wondering, that's what the red pill has been up to. Telling their audience to just forget marriage and neuter themselves. Solutions for men. Vasectomy till I find the right woman. Uh, yeah, I don't know about vasectomy success rates of reversal. I think it's like, what, 30%? Maybe 40? That's not good, man. What if you really, really want a child with them and then you just ruin it? It's workable? Yeah, but it's not good. Yeah. What? Pearl is what? 
Pearl is shown by the right and left. She's not a good source. No, no, she's mocking her. That's what I'm saying. This this woman is kind of weird. What the hell? Really waiting on that second flood. I'm waiting too. While women, in turn, are also being sold a very similar poison. About how it's good mm. to be single, it's empowering. You don't need no man. Get on the pill, sleep around, climb the corporate ladder, and- By the way, I was on the pill for five years straight. That shit ruined my life. I would not recommend it. If you're a girl right now and you've been on the pill for like, like consecutive years straight, don't do it. It ruins your hormones. Don't do it. Don't worry, baby. We'll it's freeze horrible. your eggs for you. But is this good advice for women? Or have we girl bossed a little too close to the sun? Yes, a we have. A study on date psychology recently revealed that 48% of men 26 to 40 years old have not approached women in the past year. And 60% of men aged 18 to 25 said they haven't. In the entire data wow. set, 30% of men said they- Zoomers hate people! What about the pill though? No, no, I'm talking about the birth control pill because I had really bad acne growing up and what they said, hey, you should t start taking hormone, like the pill early. And I said, okay, I'm not like active, right? And they're like, that's fine. And the doctor just gave it to me without any like reason. And then when I got off of it, I finally felt like I was normal again. Do not listen to, like even doctors can be wrong, man. Yes, doctors will tell you to get on the pill as a as a young girl if you have bad acne. I got the plastic thing in the arm and it freaked me up a little. Yeah, no, it, it was really not good. I wish I got off of it earlier because it was like making me like really like not feel good after a while. Never approached a woman in person before. Ever. This also might be because, like I said, everything that isn't swiping- Whatever happened to washing your greasy ass face? Yeah, that's how you- I know you know nothing about acne. Yeah, good one. Good one, kiddo. Right on a dating app nowadays is considered creepy. Don't approach women at the bar. Don't approach women at the gym. Don't approach don't women approach at coffee women. shops. Don't approach women at work. Don't approach women at the mall. Don't approach women. We <laughs> live in HR world. And I- can't wait to see what male birth control does. Guys, don't take male birth control. Just wrap up your peepee -pee in a condom. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do that. You got acne, man? Just take a shower. By the way, my acne resolved on its own because I grew up. It wasn't like a greasy thing, th it, greasy wash face thing. It's kind of crazy. I know. You get a stick in your arm and it stops you from getting pregnant for like five years. Yeah, it was basically like a permanent like pill form thing. <laughs> Male birth control makes you sterile chemically for good. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what it, what the pill does as well. But like, at least you can stop taking the pill. It turns out a lot of women don't like HR world. Every time no. I see videos of women crying about not being approached by men or being lonely. Neither do men and men are scared now. I see people in my chat complaining all the time, validly complaining that they're scared to talk to women. They're like, oh, I just, I've been taught that women are unapproachable because they will say things to me and like say that I'm being a creep. It's sad, really, truly. The comments and replies are always full of men like, Enjoy your cats. This is what you asked for. This is the world you wanted, ladies. But was it? Not every woman is the blue-haired, man-hating, feminist stereotype that you have in your mind. A lot of them want the same exact world you do. What you have to understand is society in the media is basically like her fat, ugly, drunk friend at the bar <laughs> cock blocking you from talking to her. Um, excuse me? She's not interested. Even though chances are, <laughs> She might be. According to the same study on date psychology, 77% of women aged 18 to 30 want to be approached more. So if- I don't know. I, f I have a kind of like a, an other take to this is because the women who are really lonely, they also don't want to get approached by ugly men. Like, if an ugly man approaches you, you automatically are like, nah, I'm good. The worst she it's could say is no. 
But yeah. now I'm being called a creep on social media and being dogged on by her following. <laughs> yeah, but from those 76%, the half has the weird expectations from Instagram and TikTok and want you to be handsome. That's what I'm saying! Exactly! Exactly! They want- they don't want you to be ugly or whatever. Yeah, they want you to be a big muscly guy. Real question though, what is a non-creepy way to approach a woman? <laughs> don't ask me that, I'm a woman. You'd have to a ask, um, a man. For me personally, it's more about your intent and that you don't make your intent of approaching me, like, super obvious. I don't know if that makes sense. If you say hello and you're like, oh, I like this brand of like cereal at the grocery store and you're like, you try to make small talk without making it like obvious that you just want to talk to me, like get my number. I'm like cooler with that than like you immediately being like, oh, hey, like I see you like, <laughs> I see you like the same cereal brand as I do. Try to be like more subtle. I don't know. We have to sneaky, not creepy. Yeah, kind of. Just don't come on flirting from the get-go. Yes! Try to be normal. I don't know. If the intent of your approach is to fuck her in your car chat, it won't go well. Yeah, exactly. I can't hold a conversation. Look, I can't either, but I will try to. I'm really bad at holding conversations in person and trying to appear normal. Because I have weird, like, social... Like, I, I get anxiety about people talking to me because, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, it, it's stupid. And I, I'm very well aware of it, but if a guy is being nice to me, I can't help myself. I'm not going to freak out at them and say no. I had a, one time, a woman one time when I opened the door for her, look up at me and say, ugh, I have a boyfriend. I was like, cool, it's just a door. I'm not trying to hook up with you. This is what I'm talking about. These are the women who are scary. I want seven TV IRL. <laughs> Wait, that would be so awesome. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, man. I, I believe you because there are girls like that. Like, like, for example, if I had a boyfriend and someone walked up to me at the grocery store and started talking to me and said that, that my dress looked nice, I wouldn't freaking freak out at them. It's not a bad thing to, like, approach a woman who you think might not be, like, single. What's the worst she's gonna do? Like, oh, yeah, like, like if you ask for her number, she says, I have a boyfriend, that's more upfront than her being like, yeah, I, I, wanna, uh, I wanna engage with you while I'm in a relationship and be led on, yeah. People act like being rejected means you're gonna die. Well, sometimes, sometimes it does feel like that. You have to kind of get over your fear. Slowly, slowly. Approach with the intention of friendship first. And after you learn about each other a bit, then go for a relationship or keep it as a friendship. Yeah. Or just, you know, stop talking to them. <laughs> That's what I do. If I approach the guy and he's like, I have a girlfriend, I'd be like, oh shit, okay, sorry. I'm out of here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's just me, though. I'm kind of stupid. If men are lonely and women are lonely, but men are too afraid to approach women nowadays, they there's are. only one thing we can do, ladies. We must approach them. So I did a little research and- Oh god, please don't make me do that. I want to die. I hate approaching people! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Look up how to approach men as a woman. <clears throat> Number one. Don't. Almost every single article, True. blog post, tweet thread, giving advice to women on how to get a man said some sh** like, Don't chase him, let him chase you. Be unavailable and mysterious. Why? Simply pretend he doesn't exist. Great. Awesome. Almost every single bit of dating advice- I, I saw on TikTok uh, a woman saying that you shouldn't reply to, uh, to messages from men for at least half an hour. Like, actually, unironically, and it had, like, 500,000 likes. I found amounted to let them come to us. But what if they're not coming to us? What do we do now? Well, according to the great come. philosophers of our time, Fresh and Fit and Andrew Tate, the problem yep. is the modern woman. Lazy, <laughs> entitled, mid. These so are the ingredients true. that create the modern woman. So clearly, we have to go back. Back when a cheeseburger was five cents. 
<gasps> women were lobotomized. That's cool. We must return to the 1950s. One of the most common ways to find a partner these days is by using dating apps and websites. But back in the 1950s, <laughs> you had to get a little bit more creative. Here's an article Aww. from 1958 in McCall's magazine listed 129 ways for women to get a husband. This, honest to God, this list is actually kind of based. Get a dog and walk it. I have been approached walking my dog and it's a good icebreaker. This isn't bad. This is not bad. Have your car it break is. down in strategic yes, places. Is. This is smart. Maybe the 1958s weren't so bad. Yo, Vinandy thing for the tier one. Juji has the riz. Yes, he's really cute and he like walks up to people. Attend night school, take courses men like. This isn't actually that not bad to get of advice. A dog trick. I thought that was just something in cartoons. No, it it works. Yeah, it does. 129 ways for women to get a husband. This list has gone viral so many times on the internet and I have been sitting on this video idea for years. And what better time to talk about this now that all you bitches single as fuck. But don't worry, we are going to see if the red pill and schizophrenic Roman statue, trad LARPer accounts yeah. on Twitter are correct. God, there's so many of those, correct. man. Did women in the 1950s have better dating advice than women today? Because apparently what we're doing today, crying on TikTok, is just not working for us. Okay, let's just, let's just I dive bet you it's into gonna this. Work. Let's, let's go. Number one, get a dog and walk it. Yes, yes, good idea. Yes, I can attest to this. It works. My dog is amazing. Yes. Honestly, this is pretty good advice. This is fine advice. Mm -hmm. If you mm -hmm. have a dog, you'll probably go to a dog park and meet Going other dog outside. people. I could see this working. Just please, for the love of God, do not become a doggo mom. The amount of times I'm walking <laughs> through the city and I, I see a stroller attacked. and a fucking dog is in it. Just do not treat your dog <laughs> like a surrogate child, please. I want to go on vacations and enjoy life. That's why I don't want kids. I have dogs anyway. Won't somebody please watch Mr. Poopsie while I'm gone? He has separation anxiety. <laughs> have your car break down at strategic places. Oh no, my brakes suddenly stopped working in front of the Bass Pro Shop. <laughs> <laughs> I would, no, this is bad advice. No, 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 no. Oh no, not right next to the tall rich man convention. <laughs> Attend a night school. Take courses men like. If you want to sign up for ancient Roman history- Guys, 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 if you if you want to do this, take coding. Go to a night class for coding. Programming. Every class, be my guest. I personally would not go back to school for a man. Mm -hmm. No man is worth that. I still have nightmares oh, about being in school. Why oh, am I, I having too. dreams about math homework at 33 years old? Look in the census reports for places with the most single men. Nevada has 125 females for every 100 females. Ladies, if you want to meet a man, simply hang out in the shoe on head fan base. The ratio of men and women here is insane. No, 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 no. My advice, VTubers. VTubers, if you want to be find a man who's single and lonely, go to a VTuber chat. I'm being serious. I have a 1% rate. She literally gave away her stats at the start. It's seven percent. No, <laughs> go to a pizza for chat. We got all types of men here. We got the furries. We got the weebs, the libertarians, so we. the conservatives, the Absolutely. liberals, the Marxists. <laughs> Why you got to do us like that? But it's true. I'm being serious. And VTuber chats are always, almost always, filled with every type of person because we don't talk about. We don't, like, not really, apart from some, like, a few strays. <laughs> Tammy got the right idea. Yeah, Tammy. Tammy's got it. The anarchists, the agitators, <laughs> the looters, and people who, in many instances, have absolutely no clue what they are doing. That's, that's my chat right there. I'm so proud. Read the obituaries to find eligible widowers. What the f Nah, that's that. I mean, that's solid advice, but that's kind of freaked up to be fair. F Showing up to a funeral like, hey, sorry about your wife. What that dick do though? So I'm <laughs> actually getting these from an article written in 2018 about the advice 
from oh, the 1950s. No. And the journalist Bella DiPaolo is constantly writing Mass her piss. own commentary. Hi, chat with Riz LLLLL. Thank you. Hello. After like almost every single one of these things. Like, look, ready? This one is like, get a job in a medical, dental, or law school. Oh, hell no. Don't do medical. Don't become a nurse. And she writes, become a no. doctor, dentist, or lawyer. You are a badass, so you don't need to marry one. And the next advice huh? from the 50s is, become a nurse or airline stewardess. They have very high marriage rates. And she's Wait, like, what? no, become a person who thinks for herself. They have very high rates of living the life that works for them. So become this a- This is so passive aggressive. Shut the hell up. Doctor, dentist, or lawyer is good advice because strong independent woman jobs- do what my mum did. Go learn IT and flirt with the guy who fixes the problems your computer somehow keeps having. That's what I'm saying, man. That's smart. That's smart. If you're desperate, do that. Or something. But become a nurse or airline stewardess is bad advice because... Why exactly? Like, I'm sorry, is that not a little a sexist? Why is she looking down on being a nurse or an airline worker? The advice some women give to other women is like incredible. It's always just like constant affirmation, constant coddling, constant like, you're doing nothing wrong, sweetie. And then male advice is like, your whole family's gonna die if you don't go to the gym right now. <laughs> Be nice to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Pull yourself out by the bootstraps. Take protein shakes. Ten protein shakes. Go to the gym ten times a day. If you don't do it, your balls will fall off. <laughs> it's true. Women get coddled in social media. It's pathetic. Everybody. They may have an eligible brother or son. You shouldn't only be being nice to people er. in order to possibly get laid. Just be nice to everyone in general. Being nice is like the bare minimum. And what's sad True. is some people can't even do that. The bar is in hell. And yet. Get a government- This list is getting a little dark the more we go through it. It's not that bad. Get a government job overseas. Government job overseas. Okay, I'm sorry. No man is worth becoming a fed. Do not no. become a federal agent for some dick. Be friendly to- Chat, I will not- I- I don't want to become a fed. I am- I am plugged out of the matrix. I am a VTuber. No, it's not worth it. Kirsche would also be very disappointed in me and Pippa. I will absolutely not join the fed army. To ugly men. Again, just be nice to everyone True. in general. Lowering mm -hmm. your standards if they're very high or unrealistic is a good thing, but don't lower them too much. If you're not attracted to someone, you should not be dating them. And don't get with the first person who's nice to you or The bloodline ends with me unless I pumps those irons. Do it, chat. Do it. Pippa's Oshi was a commie. You know what? You're a commie, bitch you attention just because you're lonely the amount of men and women who like jump into relationships just because they're sad and lonely is way too high it's almost always mm. a recipe for disaster don't date someone who you think is ugly but like if he's not over six feet or doesn't have the perfect body like if you don't earn one hundred and eighty thousand dollars a year don't even talk to me i actually knew a girl in the office that was like that and then I told her to lower it down to like a hundred thousand. She's like, no, that's not good enough for me. Big I piss. need the massive piss. Balls. Thank you, that butt. Thank you for the one year. Holy moly. I told her to lower from 180k to 100k. She's like, no. 100k a year is considered poor. Oh my god. I hate this. I, I hate this existence. Like, yeah, give him a chance. You're not perfect either, girl. But if you think True. he's straight up ugly, different story. So yes, be nice to everyone, including ugly people, but don't date someone you think is ugly. Tell your friends that you are interested True. in getting married. Don't keep it a secret. Oh, we have another author's note. Tell your friends you have no interest whatsoever in getting <laughs> married. Don't keep it a secret. Tell your mother. Tell all your other relatives. Tell all the random people you meet on the street. Declare it on social media. Bro, this is why we are here now, by the way. People like this 
in 2018 telling young women to not even try and just be a strong independent girl boss oh my god it's been six years since 2018 this actually tracks if you grew up like between the ages of like i don't know 16 to 22 and now you're at 23 and you heard this your entire life like growing up as a teenager into adulthood this tracks this is why women have these like there are women who exist like this. Not me personally, but I'm just saying I have seen it firsthand. These are the yeah. fat, ugly, Girl drunk bossing. friend at the bar cock blocking you. Get lost True. at football games. All right, if I'm at a football game, shoot me. I'm already lost. Don't take a job <laughs> in a company run largely by women. You would never hear this in modern dating advice. This is like blasphemous. I like the author's note to run a company. <laughs> Get a job demonstrating fishing tackle in a sporting goods store. See? Bass Pro Shops. I'm telling you. The last She's got a point, man. I need the Bass Pro Shop hat. Maybe I'll find myself a man that way. I need one of those for my VTuber model. <laughs> <laughs> to wear on my head to signal to men that I that I like men it's respectable institution and in America fish. on a plane train or bus don't sit next to a woman sit next to a man author I am oh hell no I'm not sitting next to anybody I hate people there's no <laughs> spread out all your stuff on the seat next to you and maybe you will get to have the whole row to yourself the contrast between the like wholesome goofy shit from the 1950s and this like just don't wear the camo, men will never find you. Men can smell women from a mile away. Go to convention, tons of single desperate nerds of all genders. Yeah, exactly. This would be modern dating advice. Go to a um, con. Yeah, I agree. Bitter modern asocial shit is so funny. Go to all reunions of your high school or college class. There may be widowers there. What is up with this, like, predatory-ass advice? Why widowers? Be a rebound for a man whose wife f***ing died. Also, I just realized I missed my 10-year high school reunion. Oh well. I don't think anyone would recognize me anyway. I'd have to, like, wear an Invader Zim shirt and, like, <laughs> trip pants. Oh my god, I wore skinny jeans that, like, were, like, ripped up and torn apart. I had band shirts. I wore black nail polish. <laughs> Yeah, nobody would recognize me now. I don't, I don't do that shit anymore. At least not that often. XD. <sighs> don't be afraid to associate with more attractive girls. They may have some leftovers. What are uh... you doing here? What do you mean? I'm here for the scraps. Right? Don't run with a girl who is a sad sack and let her pull you down to her level. I mean, this is pretty good, like, standard advice. Don't surround yourself with negative, miserable people. Like True. this journalist who will just try to drag you down to her level and attempt to sabotage your dating aspirations. Your Learn entire generation. Set up easel outside engineering school. The author's note. Dude, oh my god. This is boomer advice, 100%. Oh my fucking god. I just had this, like, remembrance of a story. My mom, unironically, she's a boomer. She told me to go draw in front of a library to appear like I'm like trendy and cool. And I'm like, oh my God, what do you mean? And she's like, no man, it works, man. I've re I read it in a book somewhere. I swear my mom must've read the same book in Russian or something, I don't know. Like I, I just had like a, a an immediate like thought where I had this memory of saying like, oh, I, I wanna find a guy, do you have any advice? And my mom saying some dumb shit like that. She told me, like, oh, yeah, you should go draw in front of a library. And I'm like, what? It works? Shut up. It does not, man. <laughs> she told me to get, like, my drawing book and to go outside and draw. So men will approach me. Well, did you? Well, I did not, but I'm pretty sure that wouldn't have worked. If you like to paint, set up your easel <laughs> where nobody will bother you. Spread your stuff out so nobody will sit next to you. Set your easel up where nobody will bother you. They want you to die alone. <laughs> Stumble when you walk into a room that he's in. Carry a hat box. What? Do we put a hat in the box? What do we put in the box? What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? A penis trap. 
What's in the box? What's in the box? But oh, I don't know. Maybe you're right, chat. Uh, by the way, maybe you're right about the painting thing. I think you might be right. Maybe I would have been approached by a man. I wouldn't be VTubing. Wear a band-aid. People always ask what happened. What? Uh, no, they won't. This was absolutely written in the 1950s where people yeah. used to talk to each other. Make a lot of money. Damn. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> what? <laughs> nobody look up. Nobody look up my page on Twitch. <laughs> Step one, be rich. Yeah, no way. Really crazy thought. Yeah. Hmm. What great advice. Nobody look at the gift of subs Don't right be now, poor. Please. Dropping the handkerchief still works. God, everything seems so wholesome and simple back then. Drop a handkerchief. That's that's all it took. Hell, like, even my mom, which, which she did to get my dad's attention, she just, like, rode her bike back and forth in front of his house. Like, that's Wait. so adorable and wholesome. Wait, does she... Oh my god, why is everything so wholesome back then? My parents almost did the exact same thing. My mom cooked a horrible meatloaf back in, I don't fucking know, like probably in the 1970s or the 1980s. She cooked a meatloaf, burnt it, and cried on the phone to my dad, and my dad pitied her, came over to her house, and ate the meatloaf anyway. <laughs> By the way, my mom's a great cook now, but she was a horrible cook at the start of their relationship, just so you know. Like, she was a horrible cook. She she actually told me she was so embarrassed of her cooking that she improved. <laughs> print of meatloaf. W dad. <laughs> yeah, motivation. They definitely banged after that meatloaf. Guys, I'm not like you. I don't want to think about my parents having sex, please. That's gross. He took one, but God, did it cost him a true soldier? It was like a meatloaf or a steak, but the point is, in like, in, in Soviet Russia, when they were around, uh, yeah. Alana, a meatloaf child? Well, no, technically that would be my brother, my older brother, not me. I wasn't born then. <laughs> That's what the meatloaf was? No, it was like meat or meatloaf. I don't remember, man. Awesome. Want to know how me and my husband met? He trolled me on Twitter. <laughs> Wait, that's so giga Chad. Oh my God, no. Chad, don't troll me on Twitter, please. It's sad, but that's actually how people beat these days. Yeah, I believe that. I really do. Modern day throwing rocks. Yes, yes, absolutely. Men bullying women is how people meet now. Online, anyway. He was a hater on Twitter.com. How do I Ace. explain that to my future children? Stand in a corner and cry <laughs> softly. Chances are good that he'll come over to find out what's wrong. No, chances are people will whip out their cell phone and start filming you. And then you go viral. Crazy Karen cries in mm, corner. Buy a convertible. True. Men like to ride in them. Ah, yes, the, another be rich and buy an expensive car. Yeah, good one. Thank you. Learn Thank how you to boomers. bake tasty apple pies. Bring one into the office and let the eligible bachelors taste it. Okay, that actually works. That actually unironically works. Yes, absolutely. Tick. That's a tick. Honestly, this is pretty cute advice. I could see this yes. maybe working. But like people are so weird about people like dating at work nowadays. That used yeah. to be like the number one place people would meet their spouse. And now it's like saying Susan looks nice today is sexual it's, harassment. Yeah. I like the yep. author's note here. Learn how to bake tasty apple pies. Eat them. Fat ass. <laughs> I'm kidding, but like, if I bake a whole apple pie, I usually bring them over to my my neighbors, by the way. No, I really do. If I bake a whole pie or like a whole cake I, or like a batch of cookies, I always hand them out to my neighbors. Because I don't want to eat all of them. <laughs> it makes me feel bad. <laughs> Can I be your neighbor? Yeah, I, I genuinely do. I, I, I love, uh, uh, like, making baked goods, but it's like, I don't really like eating a lot of them. You talk to your neighbors? Some of them, yeah. The League Gamer neighbors? Yeah, I've done it. Yeah, I've brought them cookies, and they all really appreciated this. Don't do that. anything for a man ever. 
Do everything for Get yourself. Out, wow, man. thanks, Jerno. You helped so much. Female loneliness cured. <laughs> Laugh at his jokes. <laughs> Laugh at his jokes. If they are funny. Attractive people make- No, no, you have to laugh at them even if they're not funny. That's incorrect. Make the terrible mistake of assuming that they are funny because simps and simpets will laugh at any joke they say, no matter if it's funny or not. You are not funny. People just want to f you. Know the difference. <laughs> Accidentally have your purse fly open, scattering its contents all over the street. Oh no, and... I dropped my monster tampon that I use for my magnum pussy. <laughs> Wear high heels most of the time. They're sexier. Journo note. <laughs> <laughs> this has become my favorite thing. Oh no, I dropped my monster condom on the floor with my magnum dong. <laughs> I have a big peepee, -pee, ladies. You see that? Mm, yes, very wear nice. Wear shoes with no heels. They are way more comfortable. Or don't wear shoes at all. Okay, terrible advice. Wear shoes. You don't want to attract the foot guys. Trust me. Tr I know some. She's got a point, man. People are obsessed with my model's feet. I'm a food anime girl, and there's people that are begging me every day to show my feet. I'm not kidding, man. Some of them are in this comment section right now yes. as we speak. Yes, Horrifying. they exist. But yes, heels mm -hmm. are attractive. Heels are pretty. They make your ass look good. They make your legs look good. I don't yeah. see how this is bad advice. Unless he happens to be shorter than you are. Oof. The manlets catching strays Ooh. even back in 1958. Oh my god, 60 years ago they were just shitting on him. Short kings, damn. Tell him he's handsome. Journo note, journo note, let's go! Talk yeah. to someone who is less needy and insecure. This bitch doesn't even want you complimenting men that you are interested in. Also ladies, pro tip, if you want him to just melt in your hands, don't say he's handsome, you can do that. But next time you're like walking with him or something, just be like, I feel very protected when I'm with you. He was Oh, that, ooh, yes! Oh my God, that's amazing advice. Yeah, I totally agree. We locked the f in. I don't see the fault in like yeah. complimenting a man or a woman that you are attracted to, that you are trying to date. Mm -hmm. Why does that make them insecure or needy? Take good care of your health. <laughs> Men don't like girls who are ill. Get a- <laughs> God, wait, my mom said that to me once. I got sick with the flu and my mom's like, you know, if you didn't get sick all the time, you'd probably find a man. And I'm like, God damn it, man, shut up! Shut up! Sunburn, go on a diet if you need to. You would oh never, God. ever see this advice today. What's crazy is like no. in the early- be, be fat, be empowered, eat 10 cakes, don't- don't listen to 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 men who want women who are not obese. It's true. Like actually. Yeah. Your mom is a savage kecking. I'm telling you, I think my dad is a lot nicer than my mom. My mom's kind of brutal. <laughs> my dad would never <laughs> Wait, so you mean all those times my female friends said they felt nice and protected when they were with me? They were hitting on me? Yes, yes they were. Yeah. 2000s? Very, very skinny was the look. Like, I remember being a kid and seeing things about how, like, fat Britney Spears is when she looked like this. And now yeah. we've gone completely 180. Yeah, that was horrible. I'll agree with that. You did, that was so out of line when I was a kid. Where it's like, health and fitness be damned, Lizzo is a queen. Like, can't we just be, can't we just be normal, normal about this? Mm -hmm. Why is there no middle ground between, like, Having an eating disorder and having an eating disorder. Yeah. When you are with him, order your steak rare. Uh, absolutely not. I eat my steaks well done. Not even well done. I eat that shit. Congratulations. I hope this is a bit true. I don't think we can be friends. No freaking way. She eats it. Well done! I hate you so much. And disgusting. <laughs> no way! <This> is... <laughs> Red flag, I'm unsubscribing from her people leave. <laughs> I can't believe it, this is how I find out. No! 
infections. Don't tell them no! about your allergies. Don't be too fussy. Don't whine. Girls who whine stay on the vine. Double date with a gay, happily married couple. Let him see what it's like. <laughs> This has gay. such a different meaning today. Double date gay. with a gay couple. Let him see what it's like. Be flexible. <laughs> if he decides to skip the dance and go rowing on the lake, go. Even if you're wearing your best evening gown. Journal note, journal note. Tell him that's oh, fine, but he has to wear the evening gown and the heels. Hello? For mm. Shoe? Dude, Shoe gotta be one of the boys. She is a real one wicked. Guys, if you like your steak, well done. You like eating shoes for breakfast, like the soles of your shoes. You boil them and then you you dunk them in ketchup and you're like, mmm, tasty, this is so delicious, that's you right now. Well done, you're out of here. Done. Ban them. Just feminize your date! 129 <laughs> ways to get a boy wife! Turn wolves into husband material by assuming they have honor. Okay, I'm so fucking brain broken, I'm such a degenerate that like, when I read this, I immediately thought of like, Lagoshi the wolf from Beastars, like, oh, he'd make a good husband. <laughs> oh wait, how old is he? Hold on, oh god, oh god. Oh god, wait, he's 17! Wait, oh, wait, god! wait, wait! Resist the wait, urge wait, wait, to wait, make wait. him over. Before marriage, that is. So basically, trap him and then mold him into your perfect mate. Okay. I swear this advice and... is getting more insane the further we go. The lobotomy is kicking in. Remain mm -hmm. innocent, but not ignorant. If he's rich, tell him you like his money. The honesty will intrigue him. Well, <laughs> what? Honestly, maybe. If he doesn't mind marrying a gold digger, I guess. But if it's just like a dude looking for love and you're just like, I like your money. It's over. You <laughs> fucked it up. Never let yeah. him believe your career. Don't say it until it's too late. Maybe make him sign like a non-prenup. Don't, don't let him sign a prenup. <laughs> is more important to you than marriage. Clip and mail him a funny cartoon that means something to the both of you. Oh. Alana, you only like me for my money, don't you? No, I love you cause you, oh. Oops, sorry. I meant to, fuck man, I fucked it up. I was supposed to fucking do that. <laughs> Shit, that was supposed to be a bit, man. Fuck, I was supposed to say, no, I love you for you, yeah. <laughs> This is the, by the way, this is the equivalent of sending memes to someone on Discord you like. You should have rolled for it. I, I, I just wasn't quick enough on my feet. I'm sorry. Talk to me in three years. I'll, I'm dying of embarrassment right now. I'm going to keep, I'm going to let the funny woman talk. Literally the 1950s version of sending a meme. Stop being a mama's <laughs> girl. Don't let him think he'll have in-law trouble. Even if you know he will. Journal note. Guess who never has in-law trouble? People who stay single. What other Man, articles has this woman bitch. written? Let's, let's look this up. The real sex lives of middle-aged single women. A uh, world without- Yeah, they get chlamydia and they die because they can't get treated. Next. Marriage. The unsung joy of living alone. The thrill of going to holiday parties alone. Why Bro, this is the worst. Don't even start with me going to a party for a holiday alone. That's sad. By being in a long-term relationship may make women more depressed. There are more single huh? people than ever. That's not a bad thing. The profound rewards of staying single. I'm done. Uh... Okay, lady. <laughs> this is just sad. This is sadder than Anita Sarkeesian having a wedding-themed birthday. Imagine getting invited to this. And then, like, unironically being one of the quote-unquote groomsmen for this as well. Wow, you're getting married to yourself for me? Wow. Like, you're a party and marrying herself. You're gonna look at this and tell me there's no female loneliness epidemic? Anita Sarkeesian is so horrible. I don't even know how you can- oh, I'm sorry. She didn't look at she was fucking paused face. I'm sorry. I'll cover it up. Hold on. I'm sorry. <laughs> really? Point yeah, that's sad. I, I just have to reiterate how sad she is. Point out to him that the death rate of single men is twice that of married men. Marry me or you'll die an early death. If your mother is fat, tell him you take death. after your father. If he's fat too, tell him you're adopted. It was it was a different time. That was <laughs> Stow savage. away on a battleship. Oh, wait, you, could you not be in the army if you were a woman in 1958? 
I don't think you could. You couldn't. You couldn't en enlist or whatever it's called. Yeah. <laughs> Rent a billboard and post your picture and telephone number on it. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they could. Oh. Then why don't you just enroll? But a staff not. Oh, okay. Well, you could. Okay. No. W women didn't join until Vietnam. Okay. Do not do this. Sink at a fashionable beach at high nude. Make and sell toupees. Bold men are easy catches. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Chat, no. You're not easy. <laughs> That felt personal. I didn't say it. The article did. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. I'm not balding yet. Don't marry him if he has too many loose buttons. Huh? The end. So ladies, what have we learned? That was strong. Follow around your hot friends for scraps. Get a sunburn and carry around a hat box. Wow, this will surely solve female loneliness. The... Don't reinforce me after that one chat bald. <laughs> Don't stop if you're bald. Don't stop. Why is it every time we watch a shoe on head video there's always these personal attacks? <laughs> Cause they're true. Yes. No, but for real, some of this advice was actually much better than like any modern day. The dog one seen. is. Like at least some of this advice was go the f outside and talk to men as opposed to don't talk to him like let him chase you don't even look him in the eyes also men i'm curious which one of these would actually work on you would you go over to a woman that was crying and ask what's wrong does the hat box do it for you I'm no i think they would get too scared nowadays <laughs> yeah. curious. by the way the link to the whole list will be in the description i would love to see your own takes on this list like your reactions your own video responses to this list i've been seeing a lot of vtubers responding to my video responses to this list i've been seeing a lot of v This is what you guys were talking about. Fuck! Scatter. <laughs> Run, Chad! Out of here! Oh, this is what you guys are talking about. Oh, well, well, that's well. So cute. Look who it is. <laughs> Tubers are responding to my videos lately. So if one of you anime freaks are reacting to this right now, I see you. So that was Scatter. that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If not, I've stolen like what, 20 something minutes from your life that you will never get back. But if you did like it, please consider donating to my Patreon link down below. We're going to start doing movie nights together and I would love to see you there. And I will see you next time with a new video. Bye! Shu is watching me. Shu, you better fucking start eating your steak, not well done. You heinous bitch. Did you guys enjoy the Magnum video? Magnum pussy. Ah! Magnum. That was a great video. Ah, that was good. Thank you for that. Thanks for recommending that chat. That 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 was a good laugh.